if you would like, oh, you've got a strap there, great. If you, so online, if you'd like to grab a strap or a tie of some kind or a kitchen towel, something you could use for a little binding a little bit later today. We're gonna to be working on opening the heart center and um, opening the pectorals, opening the clavicle area so that we can do some nice binds later. And starting just by bringing our hands toward the heart center. And pull your heart up to meet the thumb. This is a Hatha yoga practice today. On becoming awake, looking into the deeper self to help us to see what we really want, shedding away the layers of what it might look like we are, but we really aren't our jobs, our titles. Breathing in deeply and exhaling on. Oh. Two more times, breathing in. Oh. One more time, breathing in. We're going to open the eyes, bring our index finger to the thumb, and place the hands, palms facing up. Nyana mudra for knowledge and concentration today. Paying attention to the knowledge part. So pull the chin in towards the throat and lift the spine. And I'm going to read to you from one of my favorite books. It's a Mark Nepo, The Book of Awakening. As a humanitarian, Carol Hegedus reminds us, our purpose is that which we most passionately are when we pay attention to our deepest selves. Our purpose is that which we most passionately are when we pay attention to our deeper selves. So I'd like you to start to, co to contract the throat slightly on the inhale and the exhale, creating an ujjayi breath. So it's the breath you can hear. This breath is excellent for calming the nerves, peeling the way, away the layers of what we are not. Salud. So underneath all our worries about careers, jobs, retirements, our purpose really comes down to living fully, to being a light with who we are beneath all the names and the titles that we're given or that we aspire to. Imagine Buddha in his moment of enlightenment of being lighted from within. I doubt if he knew he was a glow. In fact, when Buddha rose from under the Bodhi tree, it is said that a monk approached him in utter amazement at his luminosity and said, oh, holy one, what are you? You must be a God. And Buddha, not thinking of himself as anything but present, answered, no, not a God. And he kept walking, but the dazzled monk persisted. Then you must be a Deva. And Buddha stopped and said, no. Not a diva, deva, no, and kept walking. Still the monk pursued him. Then you must be Brahma himself. At this, Buddha simply uttered, no. The monk, confused, implored, then what are you? Tell me, please, what are you? Buddha could not repress this joy and replied, I am awake. Can it be that our purpose, no matter what, whom we run into, no matter what we're told, is simply to be awake, to be awake to our deeper selves, to our true purpose. Let's see if we can just peel away the layers today. Meditate on the things that have come to define you. Be a mom, a brother, son or daughter, a sister.
and as if they were clothing that cloak you, that wrap around you. See if you can just peel a few of those away. Into our deep purpose. Just peel them away. Keep your ujjayi breath. And then opening the eyes, cross your ankles. See if you can lift your hands and try to stand up, no hands. Yes, beautiful. That was the first test. <laughs> we peeled off layer one, well done. All right, bring your feet together. Take your arms all the way up, interlace your fingers. Take a big breath in. Try to keep that ujjayi breath, that slight constriction in the throat. Try to keep it. Now pull in your ribs. Some of us are jutting our rib cage forward. Pull the chin in towards the throat. Lift very, very high. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bend the elbows, but keep the palms facing up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Good. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep your gaze down, chin towards the throat. Up and down. Three more. You might hear some crackles in your shoulders down behind the head. Two more. I might even be able to hear some of your crackles behind your shoulders. <laughs> Good. One more. Ooh. And slowly bring them down behind the head, relaxing your shoulders, chin towards the throat. Good. Find your posture again. Pull in your rib cage. Turn your palms up. Now we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up, and then bend over to your right, pressing the hands away. Good. Keep breathing, really, really reach. Keep your gaze straight in front of you, perfect. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Try to take your left underarm to the sky. Two more breaths. Mm. and bring your arms straight up again. I know it feels like our arms are about to break off. Pull in your rib cage and then over to the left. And lift your right underarm to the sky. Keep lifting, go a little bit deeper, reaching a little further to the left while you extend your right underarm to the sky. Keep the lift, keep, yep, one position, one simple gaze, staying still. And bring it back to the center and relax your arms a moment. Shake out your shoulders. Oh, this is meant to open the pec muscles, the supraclavicle muscles. So that when we come into that bind today, it'll be very easy for us. We have more. All right, bring the arms up, interlace the fingers, bring your feet together, pull in your rib cage, mind your posture, right? No excessive curve in the low back, gazing down towards the floor. We're gonna twist to the right, but as you twist, try to keep your hips forward. Try to gaze as far back. The more your eyes turn to the right, the more your body will turn. That way, there you go, you got it, yeah. That's it, chin towards the throat. Neck is long. Good, one more breath. Come back to the center, inhale, press up higher, pull in your ribs, chin towards the throat. Exhale, slowly twist left, belly, ribs, heart, but keep your left hip pointing forward. Ujjayi breath. Keep lifting up, palms facing up, arms alongside the ears, drop your shoulders down your back. Good, keep trying to reach. And inhale back to the center and release the arms, shake them out. Oh, we're adding on. Okay, inhale, reach the arms up, stretch up high. And then exhale, twist. 
Now, from this twist, I want you to lift your heart and find a back bend. Inhale, extend the spine up, looking up to the sky. So it's a twist and a lift. One more breath. Good, now come back to the twist and then to the center. Keep your arms up if you can. Reach up, twist left, left hip pointing forward. Now lift your heart, find extension, gaze up to the sky. Five breaths here, ujjayi breath. Place your tongue to the roof of the palate. Really place it up there, finding a closed or slightly closed throat. Slight constriction. Two more breaths. One more breath. And twist and then turn back to the center and release your arms. We're gonna take a forward fold. Separate your feet nice and wide. We'll come back to that though. Bring your hands behind you. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. You can bend your knees if you'd like. Ooh. And then take your hands around the back of your legs and just touch your heels. Light, don't pull on anything. Just a light forward fold, shake out your head. And then walk your hands to the right, both hands on the outside of the right foot. Chin to the throat. Two more breaths. One more breath. And back to the center. And then walk your hands to the far left. Keep breathing. And then back to the center, bend your knees, take your hands to your waist and inhale, rise. Last one, we're gonna bring our feet together this time. Interlace your fingers, stretch them forward and up. Really stretch up, but watch the posture so it's not jutting forward, right? We're gonna to try to mind the posture. Lengthen your tailbone, chin in, reach high. Now, twist to your right, soften your knees a little bit, and bend over to your right, reaching your hands down towards the floor. Try to bring both palms to the floor. Chin stays toward the throat. Two more breaths. Now remember when we come up from here, we're gonna to come to our right. So inhale, push your hands forward to the right. Push, 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 push. Inhale, rise and then come to the center. Exhale, twist left and then Bend your knees if you need and fold over to your left, pressing your hands down firmly. Señor, perdón, puede esperar? Oh, señor, señor. Hola, puede esperar, por favor, porque tengo clase, clase. And press the hands down firmly against the floor. Really pressing your hands and lifting your torso. Two more breaths. Now soften your knees. Remember you're gonna push your hands to the left. Push left, push left as you come up. Inhale to the left and then to the center. Great, and release the arms. That was our last one there. Take your feet nice and wide. Bring the hands behind you, interlace your fingers, lift your heart. Ah, oh, this feels like a nice change. Soften the knees, forward fold with a straight back, but you can bend your knees. Reach the arms all the way overhead, chin in, gaze to the navel. Reaching the arms overhead, see if you can touch your hands to the floor, all the way overhead.
and then soften the knees, put the hands down to the floor, left hand under your nose. Inhale, open to the right, right arm goes to sky. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, and then bring the right hand down and right hands under the nose. Inhale, open to the left. Two more breaths. Gaze up to the left hand and beyond it. One more breath. Excellent work. Now bringing your hands down, jump your feet together or walk your feet together. There you go, nicely done. And bend your knees deeply. Bend your knees so deep that your thighs are 90 degrees parallel to the floor. Good. Maybe you have to separate your feet a little bit to get that. Extend your arms forward where your rib cage is glued to your thighs. Pull in your belly, keep it strong. Good, now lift your rib cage from your thighs, but keep your thighs parallel to the floor. Drop your bottom, you've got it. Keep pulling in your belly, use your core for this. Lift your rib cage a little higher, but keep your thighs parallel to the floor. Drop your shoulders down your back, soften your gaze, breathe through your nose, and forward fold. Ooh. Uttanasana. Let's try that once again. Now bend your knees deeply so that your thighs become parallel to the floor and extend your arms forward, pull in your belly. Your rib cage is glued to your thighs. This is excellent for stretching out the low back from all that work we just did, but also for strengthening the core and lower body. Now lift your rib cage from your thighs. Keeping your thighs bent or your thighs parallel to the floor. One more lift of the rib cage. Good job. Oh. And last time, forward fold. Ah. Ah. Breathe deep. And, and facing the front of your mat, walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Four more like that. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Three more at your own pace. Hands on blocks, shin or the floor. As you lift. Make this your last one. Now soften the knees, bending the knees a little bit, cross your thumbs, inhale, reach up, lift your heart, find that extension that you had earlier and exhale forward fold. We're going to inhale, step the right foot back, bring the right knee down and lift up your arms, reaching up. This is all one breath, yeah. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come into a strong plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra, pull your elbows in. Good, exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward, left knee comes down, reach your arms up. Exhale, step forward without using your hands if you can. Bring your hands over your head and interlace your fingers. Good, inhale, cross your thumbs, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back, knee down, lift heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. 
Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Good job. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right knee comes down, lift your heart. Exhale, step forward, no hands if you can, reach your arms overhead. Let's try that again, right side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot back, knee down, lift heart. Good, exhale, down dog. Inhale to a strong plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, down dog, peeling away layers. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down, lift your heart. And exhale, using your back toe, step forward, reach the arms overhead. Left side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot back, knee down, lift heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, left foot forward, knee down, lift heart. Good. And exhale, step forward, hands overhead. Good. Let's stay here three more breaths. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. One more breath. Now soften the knees, bring your hands in front of you and lift your heart. And turn to face the side of your mat that faces the screen or me. Yeah, like that. And you can just go, you can parallel. Uh, yeah, stagger a little bit if you'd like. Good. We're going to extend the arms out. Get as wide as you feel comfortable, like it's sustainable for you. But our feet are parallel. Extend the arms out. And we're going to go far right first. So both feet stay parallel. Reach the left arm up and over the head, keeping your gaze forward. Take the left underarm and lift it to the sky. That's it. Ujjayi breath, you're just right there in the back. Keep reaching. Keep holding in your core, so don't soften and use your low back for this. Keep holding in the core, lifting pelvic floor for support. One more breath. Inhale, come back to the center, arms out. Exhale, far left and reach. Ooh, right arm comes up and over. Ujjayi breath. One more breath. Nice, and inhale, come back to the center. Now we're gonna turn our toes, so the right toes are gonna to be facing the front of the mat, or if it was your back of the mat, that's okay. Good, and we're going to turn our hips, so the back toes have to be open just a little bit, not all the way to 90 degrees, or you're never gonna get the hips forward. We're going to take our hands, you have some choices here, take your hands behind you to the elbows, if you'd like, or Viparita Namaskara, palms together, Hands reaching up the back. Good. So turn so that your hips are facing your mat, front corners of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale with a nice straight spine, forward fold. Fold the chin in towards the throat at the end. And inhale, lift your heart, take your left arm high, put your right hand at your sacrum, reach up and exhale, extend forward from your hips, not your waist, don't bend here. Really reach out from the hips and bring your left hand down either to the inside of the foot, but slightly in front 
or in front of the foot or on the outside of the foot. You decide which is best for you. We're gonna take a twist. Inhale, open to the right. Keep reaching up with your upper arm or your hand can stay on your sacrum, your choice. Hand can be on sacrum or lift the arm. Very good for upper back, clavicles, chest, pecs, low back twist, hips, core strengthening. One more breath. Soften the front knee, bring your right hand back to your sacrum and then inhale, lift up and twist to the other side. That's simple. So your right toes are turning out just a little bit. Your back toes. Your front toes are at 12 o'clock. So choose your arm position. Maybe you want your hands clasped this time or your hands to elbows or Viparita Namaskara again. So to get that, put your middle finger together, then your ring finger, then your pinky finger and walk it up the back. Yeah. Okay, ready? Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale with a nice straight spine, folding forward. Inhale, rise, use your core to lift you. Left hand at sacrum, right arm all the way up to the sky, lift your heart. And exhale, let this bend come from your hips, not your waist, really reach forward. Your hand can be inside in front of or to the left and then find your twist. And if you would like, you can add on the arm or keep the hand at the sacrum. Gaze beyond the arm if your arm is lifted. If your arm's not lifted, just gazing upward. Good. Three more breaths here. One more breath. And we're slowly coming back to the center. Ooh. And still facing the side of your mat, come back to parallel feet. And this time let's wrap our hands around our waist, pull the elbows together, careful you don't, you don't hit heads. <laughs> We're gonna come forward here. So you might wanna turn around to face the doors. That'll be easier for you, good. Pull your elbows together, lift your heart, inhale. Keep your hands wrapped, exhale, forward fold. So Stefano, bring your fingers forward, your thumb behind you. Yeah, wrap it around there. Good, now pull your elbows together. Chin to the throat. Squeeze your thighs a little here. Become awake to your foundation, your toes, lift the arches, your legs. Become awake to the area we're surrendering in, the heart, the chest, the neck. Now soften the knees, inhale, rise up. This time, take your arms up, peace sign fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, with a forward fold, grab a hold of your big toes. Inhale, lift your heart a little bit more. And then exhale, bending your elbows out to the side, the crown of the head comes to the floor. Pull up on the big toe. This is supposed to help us to avoid bunions. <laughs> In addition to giving us a beautiful stretch to our legs, our hips, inner thighs. Keep pulling up on the toe to bring yourself a little lower.
Nicely done. And then bring your hands away from your feet. Extend your arms forward and come up with your core. Beautiful. And come back to the front of your mat. We're going to work our way down. Just bring one knee down, the other knee down. Easily. Easy enough. Step the right foot forward. So we're coming into our back bending. We're going to extend our left arm all the way up to the sky. Put your right hand on your sacrum. I want to find extension. So with the right hand pressing down and slightly forward, you're going to find lift through the heart, through the spine, through all areas of the spine, the low back, the middle back, and the upper back. Keep the lift going on. Your low back, your tailbone, the one you're holding on here, the sacrum, it might want to stick out. So keep pressing lightly against it, encouraging it to lengthen. One more breath. Now you're gonna to twist to your right. So exhale, twist belly right, ribs right. Take your arm all the way over the leg, not on the knee, and bring your right hand to join it. Pressing your right hand firmly on top of your left hand. Option to stay here, or if you wanna take your left hand down to the floor and lift your right arm to the sky, you can do that. A little more intense of a twist. Good, keep breathing, perfect. She's got long arms. <laughs> Anna has very nice long arms. Beautiful. You can use your block. Thank you, Stefano. That's perfect. Two more breaths. One more breath. And slowly come back to the center. Ah, and let's change legs. Bring your right knee down. Left leg comes forward. So here, let's bring our right hand to the sacrum. Press it down, that's that triangle-shaped bone at the bottom of your spine. Press down and slightly forward. So you keep a neutral pelvis, right? And then inhale, reach up with the left arm, and then lift the heart. So as soon as I lift my heart, my tailbone wants to stick out, right? So press down and slightly forward, finding extension in the spine. Make sure your shoulders aren't near the ears. Looks good. Keep your gaze in one place, only looking at one place the whole time. One more breath. Now release your left hand, take your right arm high, lift it up, and we're gonna twist to the left. Belly left, ribs left, heart left, arm comes on the outside. Option to take your left hand on top and press down, or go a little deeper, bring your right hand to a block or the floor, and left arm to the sky. Slow breaths. Glue the tongue to the roof of the palate and make the sound with your breath on both the inhale and the exhale. Three more breaths. Turn your gaze up if you can. Two more breaths. One more breath. And slowly come back to the center, untwist, bringing your left knee down, right foot steps forward. This time we're gonna take our hands either to the elbows or viparita again, upside down prayer pose. Mm -hmm. Might feel a little easier than it did the first time, does it? Now that we've been practicing it so much. Lift your heart and you, and just use your pelvis to press it forward, tilt it slightly, forward. It's actually the upper part's tilting back, the bottom part's tilting forward. Try to do this without using your hand. Lift your heart. Two more breaths. One more breath. You can, yeah, you, is, that, that, is that comfy enough for your knee? Good. All right, and then left hand, right hand release. 
and you have some choices again to make. So the left hand can come to the sacrum, can come to the thigh or to the heel as you lift through the right side. So what does that look like? Left hand can be sacrum, thigh or heel and we lift. So it's here, lifting, here, lifting or here, lifting, or maybe even the calf muscle. Find your perfect back bend. But think of it as an extension, lift, lift, lift. We shouldn't be feeling an excessive curve in the low back. We should be feeling length through the whole back. Openness through the heart, the pectorals, through the clavicles. Let your head water fall back if that feels comfortable for you. And then slowly coming up, ah, take the right leg down, left leg forward. And again, viparita or hands at elbows. Bring your hands behind your back, lift your heart, but don't let that tailbone stick out. So you're gonna really have to control it. Lift, lift, lift. Two more breaths. Keep lifting, turn your gaze up. That'll lift your heart up. One more breath. And release the arms. Right hand to sacrum, to back of thigh, to calf muscle or to heel, you choose. You can even tuck your toes and lift your heel a little bit. That's not cheating, it's okay, <laughs> right? Find your position and then inhale, reach the left arm up and last step is to waterfall the head back. So Hannah has some choices there on the thigh, on the sacral area. Yes, really widen the hand if you're using it on your sacrum to really support the whole pelvis. Keep lifting your heart. Two more breaths. One more breath. And slowly release. Mm. And bring yourself to a seat. Ah, shake out the legs. We'll have a twist. But this will be a twist where you might want to use. All right, so we're going to bend the right knee. And we're just going to start with a simple twist first. You can put your straps down first. Just move the muscles from the sits bones. Right hands behind you, left arms high. We're going to exhale and twist to your right. Go ahead and join me. Belly, ribs, heart, come all the way over to the right. And then turn your head right. Five breaths, set your gaze in one place. Keep your left leg very active. Squeeze the muscles of your left leg. Toes pointing to the sky. One more breath. Now inhale, head comes forward, shoulders and rest of body. Now open up your knee. So open your hip and you have some choices. You can lift the foot and bring the foot on top. This is where you would use a bind or you can keep your foot here today. Okay, so you could, if you're using a strap, you can wrap your strap around the foot. And we're gonna take our right hand around the back and grab a hold of the big toe. Got that on, on screen? Yeah, good. Tricky, right? Put your strap in your left hand. So reach your hand be, or your right hand behind you. So your right hand goes, there you go. And try to grab your strap. Yeah, you got it. No problem. Good. Keep your left leg very, very active. Yeah. Good work. 
Inhale, lift your heart. We're gonna to twist to the right. Exhale, bring your left hand on the outside of the thigh, twisting right. Keep your left leg active. Left leg is active, toes are facing the sky. If you need to bend your knee or you need to put a support under your knee because of tight hamstrings, put a block under the knee. Yeah, that might be too high. Is it okay for you? Yeah, does that feel a little better? Two more breaths. One more breath. Now keep your bind, inhale, come forward. Keep your hand on the outside of the thigh. Exhale, twist to your left. It's a little trickier. <laughs> keep trying to bring your thigh down towards the floor. Good, one more breath. And inhale, come to the center, release your left arm, keep your bind, exhale, forward fold. At any time, you can remove the bind and bring your foot to the floor. Releasing whatever binds us today. And inhale and exhale, release the arm. So we couldn't have come into that had we not done all those horrible, <laughs> difficult arm positions at the beginning and our beautiful back bends. Stretch the right leg long. Nice job, everybody. That's great. We rarely get a whole group into that pose. They, they did great here. You guys did great online. Ready to try on the other side? So let's start out with a simple twist first. And again, if you have tight hamstrings, put a block under your right thigh, okay, under your right knee. Bend the left leg. You might even want a blanket under the hips. Move your muscles from your sits bones. Wrap the right arm around. Right leg stays very, very active. Lift the left arm high and slowly twist to your left. Belly, ribs, heart. You might have tented fingertips, so your fingertips might be down, your palm up on your left hand. To really give you a nice tall spine. What are the things that have come to define you? The titles. Can you peel them away here one by one? I am not what? You fill in the blank. I'm not the daughter, the sister. I'm more than where I live. I'm more than my relationships. I'm more than my history than my childhood. in my adulthood. And then inhale, head comes forward, shoulders and rest of body. Now open the hip. Move your muscles from the sit bones once again. So we have the option to keep the leg here if you have a tight knee or hip on this side or lift the leg, bringing the knees a little bit closer together. That'll help in the binding. The more you can bring the legs together, the easier the bind will be, okay. Bring the left arm around or put the strap right now on your foot first, yeah. And we're gonna grab it with the left hand behind you. Right hand on the outside of the leg, Good. And press down lightly, but not on the knee, five. Yeah, lift your heart. We're gonna twist left first. Exhale, twist belly left, ribs left, heart left, and then the head left. Keep your right leg active, really strong, toes pointing to the sky. That is, that's it, really active.
I'm more than my name. Have you been defined by your name? I'm the flame of the life living in my body. I'm that which never changes. I am pure bliss. I'm more than any definitions, any titles, any jobs, any responsibilities. I'm above all that. Now inhale, come to the center and try to twist right. The more your eyes turn, the more your body will turn. Placing your hand on the thigh, not the knee. One more breath. Now inhale, come back to the center, reach your right arm high and exhale forward fold. If you need, remove your bind, let go of the foot if you need. Keep your right leg very, very active. Squeeze the muscles to release the hamstring. Squeezing the upper leg muscles will help soften the back of the leg. Nicely done. Inhale, lift and shake out the arms and shake out the legs. Last pose is an inversion. So we're gonna come forward into a lovely inversion with our hearts this far open. It ma makes sense that we come into a dolphin pose. So I'll show it to you first. You can watch me first. I'm gonna bring the forearms down and then lift the knees and dangle the head. So you can stay there today, or if you really feel frisky, you can walk your feet forward and lift one leg, right? If you feel more frisky, you can find some balance, okay? Play with it as you'd like, but let's start with forearms down, shall we? Forearms down and the wrists are right in front of your elbows. Now lift your bottom and look at your thumbs. Good. Option to lift one leg and just feel how that feels. Keep your index finger parallel to the edge of the mat. You can lower that one leg and try lifting the other leg. You can bend the knee and hop up as you need. Just tie with it a little bit. Yeah, look forward towards your thumbs and spread your fingers, really wide fingers. That's it. That's the idea. Yes. Try to bring your shoulders just above your elbows. Not even this pose defines us. We're just using it as an exploration to notice what we're not. Lower the knees, bring the hands back, forehead down. So we use the postures in the practice as an exploration. We're not any of the postures. We just use them to explore, to deepen our awareness, to become more awake. Awake to what we really are. We're far beyond any of that. The flame of the life living in our body. For that which never changes. Looking deep into the inner self. Our purpose is that which we most passionately are when we pay attention to our deeper selves. We get out of the body. We're not the body that had a difficult or easy time binding. We're not the body that had a difficult or easy time taking a back bend today. 
we pay attention to our deeper selves. And then slowly coming up, lifting the head. Take your time sitting on your shins if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, try sitting on your bottom, chin to the throat, hands on the thighs. Take your chin to the right and up to the sky. And a whole circle over to the left. Big circles in one direction. And then change the direction of the head circles. And then come back to a neutral neck. And we'll practice alternate nostril breathing before we rest today. So left hand, index finger to thumb. And palm facing up. Good. Right hand, bring your hand open. And make a fist. Open your thumb and last two fingers. Good. Yeah, that's it. Bring your thumb to your right nostril. We're going to take a big inhale through the left. We're going to be changing it soon. Inhale left. Stefano, use your other hand. There you go. And exhale through the right. So close off your left nostril with your ring finger. Perfect. Inhale, right nostril. Nice. Exhale, left nostril. Try to keep everything straight. Inhale, left nostril. So your head is directly forward. Exhale, right. Good. Inhale, right. Balancing our strong with our peaceful side. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. We'll have one more round. Inhale, left. Exhale, right side. Inhale, right nostril. And exhale through your left nostril. <laughs> okay, we miss one sometimes. And release the hands and find your way to Shavasana. Put your head in the center of the room, feet towards the wall, please, in the shala, any way you'd like on the screen. <laughs> Maybe you have something for your head. Once you come into your laying down position, I'd like you to bend your knees a little bit and lift your bottom off the floor and then stretch your tailbone towards your heels and then slowly release your legs back to the floor. Yeah, just tuck your tail underneath. You get a nice long low back on the floor. Good, and then bring it down and stretch your legs. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now lift your chest a little up and pull your shoulder blades together on your back. So your upper back squeezes toward the shoulder blades squeeze toward one another. That's it. Uh huh. And then bring your upper back down. Now lift your head, bring your chin towards your throat, and then lay your neck down slowly so your neck is laying against the floor as much as it can. That's it. Perfect. And then lower your eyelids or close your eyes.
can it be that our purpose, no matter whom we run into, no matter what we're told, is simply to be awake? To be awake, to be aware that we're more than anybody says we are, than we say we are, than any title we've been given. We are what never changes. And when we pay attention to what never changes, to our true passion, our deeper selves, then we can live our authentic, true life. Meditating on the things that have come to define you. And peeling away the layers. I am more than one of those definitions you pick. I am more than another one of those definitions you pick. I am more than my relationships. I am more than my history than my friends. I'm more than where I shop, where I live, maybe the school I go to. Feel your breath enter and leave your heart. And from here, without history or name, saying, I am the flame of life living in this body. I am the flame of life living in this body. That flame will be the flame of your passion when you pay attention to it. Bring you to an awake state. Know what you're really meant to do here on earth. Meant to be what you've always been. deep into your heart.
We'll slowly start to come back with this awake self in touch with our deeper self. Buddhists would call this our buddhi mind. We're in our buddhi mind. Awake mind. Start to open fingers by moving them a little bit. The energy in the hands, the wrists, and then the toes and ankles. When you're ready, turn your head right and left. And then take other stretches that feel nice to you. Maybe you'd like a twist. Reach your arms or, or reach the arms above the head as you wish. What feels good to you? Bring your knees in, maybe rock a little bit side to side. Yeah, whatever feels nice. Feel another minute here to just take any final stretches before you come up or before you go to your side. And then bring your knees in towards your chest and roll on to your right side, right arm under the head, nose turning down a little bit. Bring your top hand down to the floor and slowly press yourself into a seat. We'll bring our hands back at the heart center. Om Shanti 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 together. Take a big exhale. Breathing in deeply. Om peace, peace, peace. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. It's been an honor to be with you today. Thank you so much to everybody in the Shala who came today. We really appreciate your presence and so much more than just being here with your actual beautiful presence in the practice online. Thank you so much for being with me. Om Shanti.